right, the art of the stir fry, we're going to start with the wok. These are basic concepts for a stir fry. You can, like, do anything you really want. You can scale it up and down. But here's the basics. So you get a wok. You can use a big frying pan if you want. Um, you use some toasted sesame oil. Just a little bit. I usually just like eyeball it, maybe like a tablespoon. And then I put in a little canola oil. Just maybe another tablespoon. Okay. And then you just like mix it around. Especially when it's hot, you heat it up. So you get it really hot, just smoking. And then you throw in your first ingredients, which are these. We don't have this on yet. No. Oh, you got everything all pre-chopped, right? Yeah. This is what you want to do for a stir fry. You want to have everything chopped and ready to go. Because it goes fast. Yes. So you have onions, red peppers, carrots, whatever you want. It's really limitless. Whatever vegetables you want. And excuse our dirty sink, but I was also, <laughs> I want to pause about tofu. Tofu you might think really sucks sometimes because it doesn't really have much flavor and it gets really soggy. One of the tricks we like to do when we fry tofu is, and this is fried, it seems like Richie fried these already, right? Yeah, he just fried in a little oil in a pan. So one of the things that we like to do is drain the tofu overnight. So I um, press it down and wrap it up in saran wrap and use something like this and put the firm tofu in there and uh, all the water comes and out. all the water comes out and it, it's nice and crispy and then also it'll absorb your sauce much better and your stir frying will be so soggy because the tofu is releasing a bunch of water. Um, really recommend that and I think you'll hate tofu a lot less. First thing you're going to add to the pan is this right here. So start with your base. This is your base. Garlic, ginger, and hot pepper if you want. This is a serrano pepper or whatever it is. I think it's a Fresno pepper. Fresno pepper. But you can do whatever. So you can use a jalapeno, you can use whatever you want, but this is the base. You throw that in first and you let it uh, just kind of like sizzle and cook for on really high heat for probably about a minute. And then you throw in onions, carrots, and red pepper, all the harder items that need to cook longer. So you cook these for about seven minutes okay. in a stir fry, depending on your stove. You got a high, high burner sto stove where you have a really high flame, it may go quicker, but depends on your stove. And then you've got things split up. Yeah, so the, the next phases. thing that will go in will be the mushrooms because those need to like break down a little bit. After the seven minutes with the onions and such, you do the mushrooms, they will leave all their juice in the pan and boil off. And then the next thing you want to put in once these have reduced is the bok choy. Or, or other greens, other whatever greens, greens you're going to Yeah, you can use spinach or um, mustard greens, whatever you want, kale. And then you've got a sauce. That goes in at the end. It's soy, um, a little bit of uh, sesame oil, um, probably about a teaspoon of cornstarch, um, a little bit of um, fish sauce. You don't necessarily need to use fish sauce, but I think fish sauce adds a little bit of uh, umami to the uh, flavor of the dish. And a little, just, I add probably about a teaspoon of rice vinegar just to give it a little bit of tang. That's and pretty I, much it. And then I'm noticing cornstarch. Yeah. I mentioned, wanted, I mentioned oh, cornstarch. Oh, sorry. Sorry. And then we've got a little bit of cilantro at the end, right? Yeah. Which you don't need to add if you don't like. This is just something fresh and nice that you put on top. Yeah. That's yeah. it. So you have this all ready to go because once you get your wok nice and hot, you're going to move really, really fast. We also have rice going on the side. We're actually going to do black rice. Black rice tonight. There you can see it. Okay. Excuse the thing again. 
black rice. Black rice is nice. It's nuttier. It's got more flavor. It also is lower on the glycemic index. So if you're worried about your sugar levels, black rice is really nice. Yeah, it's not as starchy as white rice. And it's delicious, especially if you add a little bit of uh, chicken base or chicken stock. I use chicken base, probably about a teaspoon of chicken base, and just a dash of salt, <clears throat> a pinch of salt, actually. And that's pretty much all you need. Well, maybe a little bit of butter, a tab, a tablespoon of butter. All right. But that's it. And how long are we cooking that for? 40 minutes. Black rice takes almost as long as brown rice, if not exact. All right, so we're, we're, half, we're halfway through on that. So once we get right close on the rice, we'll get going on our wok and we'll show you how fast this comes together. All right, we got a really high heat going. And that's what you need. You need a hot, hot wok. So you have to kind of release your inhibitions when you're stir frying. You need things hot, you need to move fast. Kind of like a You need to like embrace your inner chef. Also our rice is done. That's what that's looking like. So just kind of keep the top on. The steam will kind of continue cooking it just a touch, but you know, have a crack open so that some of the steam can escape. bit of smoke. So that's what you're looking for is some smoke. Do you see that? And uh, okay, so if you remember, garlic, ginger, and we're throwing in some peppers because we have them in the crisp and roll. So we added a touch more oil as we're going and things are softening up so now we're going to add our Vegetables. About three to four minutes, and what we're looking for is translucent onions. If they're almost there. And once they get there, that's fine too. Some of the couple more minutes, but there'll be a sign too that our carrots are ready, and we can add our mushrooms. So you see, nice caramelization. The smaller guys are starting to get a little bit of scent. I think it's time for our mushrooms. Let's toss them in. These are shiitakes. You can use whatever you want. Once you kind of understand the basics of the structure of the stir fry, honestly, you guys can put whatever you want in here. You can, like clean out your crisper drawer if you want. Whatever you have in here. It's good to add a touch of um, such a canola oil. You can kind of add something just to get things moving. Like a teaspoon or so. Package it, get really good. Alright, once those mushrooms release their juicing, I'm going to get a little ahead of me now. See that? There we go. So that was about three to four minutes when you add your green. Okay. Okay. And the green green is made about three to five too. Just kind of get them to the and get tender. Okay. okay. See how they wilted? Alright, now it's time to add our tofu and our sauce. Coat, and then you taste it, and you see, you know, do you need to add a little water, loosen it up, is it too pungent? 
Okay, is there enough saucer to coat everything? So we added a little bit of water. I always taste and adjust your seasonings and, and, and adjust things. Especially if you're the recipe, and I put recipe in quotes, because it's looser, right? We've added a ton of other things. So, but don't over salt. Is it salt at the end? Yes. Especially when you're doing the soy and fish sauce. Perfect. I think that's ready. All right. Serve it up hot with your rice. Mm-mm. There it is. Mmm. Delish. So there it is, the artist or fry. Thanks, Tabby, for assisting me on this one. Join me in cyberspace and all the social channels and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also check out the shop. Happy Friday. Manja manja. One of the things I wanted to cover when it comes to woks is properly washing and seasoning and keeping your seasoning on a wok. So when we, we have a well-seasoned wok. Well-loved, well-seasoned. How old is this wok? Gosh. 15 years. Yeah, it's been a long time. We got it in Chinatown. And you can see it's really dark and it's seasoned. And my husband's very particular in how he clean this and how he dry it. If it's properly seasoned, it won't rust and uh, it makes for good um, stir fry cooking. So when you wash your wok, you're using warm water, dish detergent, mild. You're not scrubbing it, right? Right. No scrubbing. You're just using the soft part of the sponge and gently cleaning it out. That's phase one. Now he's putting it back on the stove. You can see kind of from the edges the font that we have. He's using a paper towel and you're just gonna lightly, lightly, lightly dry it. You take canola oil. So now you take canola oil and just a little drop that looked like a half a tablespoon maybe. Did you put it over here at all or no? No. Get the towel again. And you're just coating the inside. Yes. And that is it. One thing we do do is we cover our wok. And if you don't have a cover, um, you know, you can just put a, plastic uh, some plastic wrap over it or a garbage bag over it. So you don't want the dust because um, we keep ours in our basement because it's just too big. Um, you don't want dust and dirt. Getting on the oil. Getting on the oil and on the inside of that. 